in the previous video we discussed uh, discussed some basics of python uh, in this video we will be talking about some more advanced concept than the previous one uh, if you are very very well versed with python you can still keep, skip this video if you know about all these things that i have listed uh, on your screen about error handling global variables lambda and functions because this is what we are going to discuss in this video so let us first start with function what is a function function is uh, generally used to some task that you will be doing repeat repetitively so instead of writing that sem sem uh, some sample code again and again it's uh, better you can just uh, write it once and then re reuse it again and again so to describe a, a function, uh, to write a function, we use the keyword def and uh, followed by the name. So sum, say for example. So we have defined here a function uh, the, uh, sum and we will uh, write what it will do. So first we will write the arguments. So maybe it takes two arguments. So arguments is something sort of input to the function that it will process or do something with it so we can just do print a maybe now we have defined function that's that it will just print one number maybe we can also print b and now what we are supposed to do is we just we can just simply call the function and okay, i think i should give it some some numbers it will be better name because we already have an inbuilt function some numbers and i will give two numbers so we just print initially so this is the way you call a function a different function that you have defined and it is called user defined function. So let's print this. You can see five five. Both are five. It is just simply printing these elements so another thing that you can do is return something so if you process something then you want to return that result you can return that so we have the keyword return and it will return a plus b and hence the name num some number so uh, to re uh, when it returns something you need a variable to store it so since it returns only one value here, it's just returning this operation here. So it will result into one variable. So it will, I will just take, uh, say for example, c is equal to something. And I will print c. So this will uh, print the addition. And since I am giving 5 plus uh, 5 and 5, so it should be 5 plus 5, 10. Let me do this again you can see it here that's 10 that's one way for suppose if we are returning two values here so a and a minus b okay. now uh, if i run this that will be some issues 10 and 0 directly it's taking but uh, i don't want that to happen okay i want in the variables so i will take another variable d and i will print d so 5 minus 5 should, should be 0 you can see it returned this tuple here. Here, yeah, just a tuple. Uh, I have not discussed about tuple, but it's a tuple. Okay. And let's print D. You can see it's zero here. And let me just show you that it's actually C is also 10. You can see 10 and 0 so that's one thing mm, and again you can assign some default values 
so say if I don't uh, pass any value for B you can just keep it 0 so these are the actual arguments and these are the formal ones so and you are here uh, these phi I am just giving this phi as the value for A and phi is the value for B but for suppose if I don't give that I just return phi then the by default zero uh, value for B will be zero so that's what I'm doing here so it's one of the another way now there are various other concepts like uh, defining by name so I can also give it like this a is equal to phi this is by name giving the value by name there are like variable length arguments uh, also possible uh, we also have that concept but again it will be a little advanced and not much required so let me comment this now so i'll just comment it out and we will move to the next uh, concept lambda so lambda is nothing but a function itself we call it an anonymous function but uh, it can do things pretty quickly uh, and uh, in fact I mean by quick I mean it can just do that in a single line so you do not define need to define explicitly above a uh, function like this and then use it this way it's a one line function that you can define instead say for example uh, you want to square a number okay so I can just like square number it will hold the value and we have the keyword lambda that uh, that uh, initializes this uh, lambda function you can say and now I can give my variable here so lambda and say number whatever it is uh, now I can to square I can just give into number and now this this is square number is now a function right so if I just directly do print of uh, square num into 2 then 2 square is 4 so we should get 4 here before that I will clear this uh, can see here for so that's a sort of like writing short neat uh, code rather than defining all things like this that's one way you can do it so that's one concept that I want to talk about so now I will move on to the global variables so we have talked about various types of variables previously like boolean uh, string float etc but uh, again uh, there are other types of variables like global variables and local variables so when you define a function and if you define a variable in that particular function then uh, the, that particular value exists just for that uh, function and you can have these global variables with the same name as the local variable so for example uh, say we have a variable with a value 10 and uh, I define function as something so it takes nothing no arguments and I define another variable and give the value as pi now notice that we have the same name for two variables here a is equal to 10 and a is equal to 5 and I will print it here uh, local variable local variable and dot format um, I just run it <laughs> I was not intending to run Okay, and now 
now I will just print outside this function and I will call it global and so, so the thing is I will just need to call this function for sure so it can be executed so the value of a inside this function is 5 but outside will be 10 so no matter what so although I uh, it, look, it looks like I just over return the value and it will be 5 but it will be 10 here if, uh, and you will see that shortly let me run this so you can see here the global variable is 10 and the local is 5 so maybe if, if you want to change the global variable inside uh, the function then what to do so we have a keyword which is global and you can just define global and the variable name the global variable name. and now if I do this change a is equal to 5 it will be for this one also so now I will get uh, both the times 5 so the local will be uh, in this print statement I will get it 5 and in this statement also I will get, get it 5 we run this you can see here both the values are changed now so this is one of the concept that we will be using uh, as we move ahead in the project it is an important concept that you can remember okay, I'll comment it so we are done with the global variable concept now error handling so while we are writing code uh, there is always a possibility that we will encounter some errors and we should know how to handle them uh, for example, uh, let's let's write another function, say divide, and again this takes two arguments, a and b, and uh, we will just do print a divide by b. So if I run this, a divide and 5 by 10 I run this now let me clear this first so if I run this you can see 0.5 that's right but what if I do 5 divided by 0 uh, division by 0 is not possible we know that so if I do that you can see we have 0 division error so it's just uh, saying that you cannot divide by zero. So while writing some application that we'll be writing, if we have this error, then it's not good. We need to do something. If we encounter this error, then there should be some way of handling it. And that's where we get this uh, concept of error handling. So we use this keyword try. And it, so it means try this, but we use except you can see a zero division error print sorry buddy can't divide by zero so what happens here so when we uh, pass the arguments uh, it will first try this uh, if uh, if the non numbers uh, non zero number uh, in the denominator it will just print the division but if there is an error uh, uh, so of this particular zero division error then it will just print this statement so let's see this in action we can see here sorry buddy cannot divide by zero because i had passed the uh, the value for denominator as zero so it was uh, so it encountered this error zero division error i didn't execute it this thing so this is also concept that we'll be using on our project to encounter one of the errors so that's it i think uh, i don't uh, think anything remains i think we are just ready for with respect to python but uh, 
uh, I want to introduce this kit to you in the next video. So we will be getting to, to some of the basic uh, things in this kit in the next video. And after that, we will move back to our project. And I think by then you will be uh, will be ready to understand all the stuff ahead. Thank you.